welcome back. I'm Jess and it has been a while. I have a lot to catch you up on. I guess I'll catch you up on all the things that I've been loving. So today we're gonna talk about my favorites. So these products, okay, bye Luna. So these products have made it into the favorites list because I've used them over an extended period of time and I love them and I'm gonna tell you why I love them so much right now. So first up, skincare. Um, there's a lot of things that I love with skincare. The first thing I'll talk about is this Tarte Brazilliance. This is a self tanner. It's got maracuja oil in it. I actually didn't purchase this for myself. This was a purchase that I did for my boyfriend Joe. There's no scent so it doesn't stink. You know how most self tanners are stinky and smelly? This does not smell. It actually smells really good. Maybe it's the maracuja oil. I don't know. It gives a nice, like, subtle, gradual tan. A nice inner glow. This one was actually in the um, little bins that you get in Sephora. You know, those evil little $10 bins. Except this was $15. And um, it's a mini one. Tarte actually makes like, a full-sized one. I like this because you can travel with it. It's perfect. I love travel size anything. Brazilians is brilliant. There are two things that I want to talk about for my face, for my skin on my face. The first thing I'll talk about is this Rose Hip Organic Cold Pressed Oil. I love face oils. There's so many out there though. If you have dry skin, which I do, and even if you have oily skin, you're gonna love this. It doesn't leave you greasy or oily, it absorbs quickly. And it's really nice because it's light enough that you can wear an oil during the day, which most oils you can't do with. And you can wear this during the day, and you can put on your makeup, and your makeup doesn't slush around. Segue into the next product that I want to talk about. You guys are really gonna love my segues. This is all I do when I talk in tangents. This Hourglass um, Makeup Primer. This is a foundation primer. It's their Veil Mineral Primer. It's amazing. There's not a lot of product in here. I really loved, though, that in comparison to other foundation primers that I've used, it's super smooth. It's silky. It literally, your face feels like silk. It feels so Good. One and a half pumps and then I'm set for the day and it literally keeps my makeup on and not melting off my face for like 17 hours. Moving on to hair care. This sucker right here is great. This is, um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, Dad. It's a leave-in conditioner. It's a moisture lock leave-in conditioner and you literally need the smallest bit amount, like dime size amount, and you just emulsify it in between your palms. So you're rubbing your hands together for like 10, 15 seconds and then you kind of just scrunch it into your hair from the very tips, the very bottom, all the way up to your roots where the least amount of product should be anyway because your hair is going to create its own oils at the roots. This particular formula was intended for curly hair, people with naturally curly hair. Uh, my hair is flat, like pin straight, it dries like flat to my face. But I still love this because I scrunch it in and then comb it out and it's so, because it's made for curly hair, it's very light and it doesn't weigh your hair down and it smells good. I'm huge on smells. So if you've hugged me recently and you're like, you smell good, this is why. And on days that I don't feel like washing my hair, I mean, quite frankly, unless I'm like going to the gym every day, not likely, um, or I'm sweating a bunch, I will wash my hair every other day, but I try to only wash it like a few times a week. This is a dry shampoo by Detox, and I got it the same day that I got this self tanner. Same boxes up in Sephora by the checkout. This was actually an impulse buy, and I'm so glad that I did it. See, those positively reinforced actions aren't helping. I have to buy everything on impulse. But this is an impulse buy, and I love it, I love it, I love it, because it's a dry shampoo, but it smells like a perfume. It's very fresh, it's very light, it has a clean scent to it. The only thing I would say about this is that it comes out like a, like a leaf blower. Like you just don't know the force, like let me just show you. So you basically lift it up and you're gonna wanna like shoot this three to four inches away. Ah! See, but it comes out like super fast kind of like a jet, but then you just work it into your your roots with your fingertips like this. And it also adds super instant volume. Moving on to our mouth, because my mouth has some favorites too. This Hourglass lip oil has 19 essential oils. And there's that many essential oils. You just pump it up to the top, and it has this little copper application tip, and you just put it on. Awesomeness. I put this on at nighttime before I go to bed and then I wake up and my lips are just like, oh. keeping with the mouth theme. <laughs> my teeth are in my mouth, so that was my segue. I'm obsessed with the Smile Sciences Teeth Whitening Kit. I mean, could you tell? 
but your towel and my teeth are whiter. This is great because this particular kit comes with two personable, you personalize the trays for your upper teeth and your lower teeth. And I would show you my trays, except they're soaking in the bathroom because I use them and they're gunky. But it's great because you mold the trays to your mouth, to your mouth. Every mouth is different. So it's not like those trays that come and it's like one size fits all. And some people have bigger or smaller teeth than you do. So it doesn't necessarily work for you. And this is the gel that you put in the trays and then pop in your mouth and wear for like 20 to 30 minutes. And what's cool about this kit in comparison to other teeth whitening kits is that it actually comes with this blue LED light. Can you see that? And then if you're pressed for time and you don't have a full 20, 30 minutes and you just pop the trays in with the gel and then hold the blue LED light to them like this and then boom, I do that. I've been doing it for the past month about three times a week. And then on the in-between days to maintain that broad smile, you just kind of paint on this maintenance pen. They give you a maintenance pen. You kind of just paint on the gel and you lay it on your tooth for 30 to 60 seconds. Afterwards, you just rinse your mouth out and then voila! And that is why my smile has been so bright lately. That and the fact that I know that my feet don't smell. Yep, that's right, another segue. What I mean is I've been obsessed with this foot spray. I'm one of those people who my nose is so sensitive, I can smell funk from a mile away. That means like body BO, that means like scalp, oh, that means like smelly feet. And I, in the summertime, love to wear sandals and heels and like slip on shoes. And sometimes those little slippers that we wear make our feet smell. Ladies, you know what I mean. So I carry in my purse this, I don't know how to say it, pretty? Pretty? Peppermint Rosemary Foot Spray, which is very different. This, I've used some foot sprays before, but this one has rosemary and mint. So during the day, I'll just pop off my shoes and give my toes a little spritz, and it not only refreshes my feet, it also makes them smell like nice toothpaste. <laughs> and I think that's it. That's all I have for my favorites um, thus far that I wanted to share with you. Um, so I just wanted to say hello, catch up with you. Do me a favor and leave me a comment below and let me know what are some things that you have been trying out this month that you love, some of your favorites. I always like trying things that are new. Everybody has a favorite and everybody has a reason why it's their favorite. So I wanna know what your favorite things are and why and maybe I'll try them out. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to me if you haven't already. I'm gonna try to be more consistent on this channel. It's really hard when I run three channels and two blogs and I'm like, ah! But I'm gonna try and be better about it and I'll see you guys next week.